Neural R here. Have you ever wanted to adjust the shift points in your car? Well, if you have a GM Hydromatic 440T4 transmission or a 4T60 transmission, they were renamed the same thing, then you can very easily do this with no tools, just your hands, and a couple of minutes. And I'm going to show you how with this car behind me. This is my old 1991 Buick LeSabre. It has the 3800 engine in it and the 4T60 transmission. That transmission was in use from the late 80s through 1991. After that, they changed to the electronically controlled transmission, such as the 4T65E. Probably the best 4-speed that GM ever made and one of the best ones ever mass-produced. But in any case, let's pop the hood open and I'll show you how to adjust the shift points in this vehicle and also describe uh, why it is not dangerous to do so. Here's the engine compartment from the driver's side. This here is the throttle. This is what moves when you uh, press the accelerator pedal, as all of you probably know. And there are three different cables coming out of it. One goes to the accelerator pedal, another one goes to the cruise control actuator, and they just pull on the, th the uh, throttle um, valve here and open it. And the other one is on the other side. This controls the transmission. And uh, this is just passive. Where you have this position is how far that cable is pulled out. That runs around and goes down into your transmission. This is called the throttle valve cable, or at least it's common re commonly referred to as the throttle valve cable. And this is what you can adjust to control the shift points in your transmission. Now this particular transmission does not have electronic controls, and that's why this method works and is so easy to do. On a more modern transmission, like in my vehicle over here, uh, they are electronically controlled. Both the uh, internal pressures and the shift points are controlled electronically. Those are a lot more difficult to adjust without damaging things. But on this particular transmission, you can, and there's really no downside to doing so. Over here, in this rusty old lump over here, this is the vacuum modulator. This controls the internal pressures that go to the clutches in your transmission, dependent on the throttle position, uh, the vacuum, rather, in your engine. So this is torque dependent. The more torque your engine is outputting, the harder the shifts. And uh, we're not adjusting this, so the shift firmness will still be correct for the throttle position. And this here, this cable, when you pull on this cable, that adjusts the shift points, and also how quickly it kicks down. So, you can either adjust this to uh, rev higher before it shifts, and to kick down a little bit earlier, if you want a sportier feel. But this vehicle has more than a quarter million miles on it, so I have it adjusted to a smooth, quiet, and low rev experience. Um, I don't want this engine revving up too high anyway, plus I prefer the uh, lazier feel of earlier shifts. Uh, you can accelerate briskly without uh, revving the engine up and it stays nice and quiet inside. In any case, I'll show you here how to uh, quickly adjust this. As far as car modifications go, this is about as low risk and as easy as you can possibly get. You just pop open the hood anytime and adjust it. You can see here that this cable is uh, pulled out of the transmission about this far when the throttle is completely closed and I have to open the throttle about to here before it starts pulling on the cable. Normally this would be up tight against here and pushed into the transmission like this. But uh, I have it adjusted so that it's a little bit looser. You can also adjust it slightly tighter. The only thing to worry about is to make sure that when this throttle is fully open that you're not overextending that cable. Um, but other than that you can adjust it pretty much however you want. And basically over here there is a, uh, a button that you press in and it releases the pressure on this bracket that holds the uh, cable in, and then you can slide the whole cable in and out. I could demonstrate that, but that's pretty self-explanatory. And you can change the, uh, the position of the cable to be tighter, which will cause uh, later upshifts and quicker downshifts, or looser, like this, which will cause it to upshift quicker and uh, not kick down as quickly. That way, if I floor this old vehicle, it doesn't immediately jump up to redline. It only goes up to uh, 3,500 RPMs or so, which, uh, which I like for this old car. So that's why I have it set this way, but uh, you can set it how you want. I just thought some people might be interested in changing the shift points in their vehicle. Very easy to do, very safe, and if you don't like it, you can always undo the change you made. This is Neuraldar. Thanks for watching.